Hi, welcome to another ArcGIS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the volume of a raster. Now, in order to demonstrate that, I'm going to use a specific example. Uh, as you can see over here, I have already loaded up my DEM. I'm going to take a section of a river. I'm going to calculate how much water can this river section accommodate for a given water level. So in order to do that, I'm first going to isolate uh, this part of the DEM, uh, as you can see, which has been marked from the boundary. So to do that, I'm going to use the tool which is called Extract by Mask. Just type it in the search panel and you can select it over here. And as the input raster, it's going to be your main raster. And as the feature mask data, I'm going to select the shapefile uh, river section and click OK. Alright, now you can see that we have isolated that part of the river and if I zoom in a little bit and maybe change the color scheme as well in order to see the river properly. Now you can see that we can clearly visualize the, the main river channel and the river banks. Now in order to provide you with a different perspective, what I have done is I have converted this raster into a tin model and I have imported that into ArcScene. So this is how it looks when you import it into ArcScene. Now you, now you can clearly visualize the, the 3D model of the river cross section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the volume of this this river channel given that I have another plane which acts as a water level. Now if I remove that and if I look at the legend over here for this particular raster uh, for this particular 3D model you can see the lowest value is 72.53 meters and the highest is 224.5 meters. So I have prepared this plane called water level and as you can see over here it's 158 meters above the sea level. So I'm expecting it to reflect my required water level and in this tutorial what I'm going to calculate is how much water can be accommodated in this part of the section below this water level plane. So let's get back to ArcMap. Now in order to do that you can use a simple tool called uh, Surface Volume. You search that in the search panel and under the 3D Analyst tools you can you can see that here this option called surface volume. Now in case when you try to click on this one and if it doesn't work probably you might need to go to customize and go to extensions and make sure that this 3D Analyst is checked the box is checked. So once you do that you're actually able to use the tool. As the input surface, I'm going to now drag and drop my raster. Now, under the surface plane, you have the option to select above or below. If you go back to the ArcScene 3D model, this, is, this blue color plane is my surface plane. So the volume that I'm going to calculate is actually lying below that plane. So here we should select below and over here again you can see that my plane's height is 158 meters above the sea level, above the mean sea level. So I'm going to put 158 over here and as the output text file I'm going to specify a text file call. river volume and now you can click OK. Alright, now here you can see that we were able to actually get a new table, a text file which is in the form of a table and if I open that you can see that the last column is with the attribute volume. So this is the number that we were looking for and this number actually gives us the total amount of water or the total volume that can actually be accommodated in this part of the river cross section below the specified plane of 158 meters above the mean sea level. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. 
If you would like to see more interesting GIS tutorials like this, you can consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.